Taking a look at stock ticker symbol CTIX. This one is very popular over here on investorshangout.com. As many as you guys know, Mountain Man 213. Uh, to everybody over there on the CTIX board, we definitely appreciate you guys uh, participating in using our form. So uh, jump into this one, $1.17 right now, currently trading at $1.17. Uh, we put over here at, um, looks like uh, 12.28. And it said on watch at $1.20. The reason being why I said that is that you were getting up here to the 30 day simple moving average and after seeing it tap over here, I thought it was gonna make through. So if it would have made through, I really think that this one would have started running. That is why I say that, okay? We gotta put it on watch, put it on radar. Uh, I put it on watch. Again, right here, it didn't make through, it went back, tapped that uh, 20 and uh, 10 day simple moving average, could not do it. You got one, two, three, six days, all right? Now, let's go ahead and put this one on watch again and I'm gonna tell you why. All right, because you got to wait for these indicators to happen. Uh, if you're into trading, short-term trading, that's what we're doing is, is short-term trading, obviously, uh, what we look at. So <clears throat> what I mean by that is obviously we come back and circle across it. Uh, what I say right now wouldn't matter. I had somebody ask us over here on, uh, on, on, on the video once I uploaded it to YouTube, says, hey, where do you think the stock price would be in three months? And, and I joked around. I didn't say it, but I, I thought to myself, it's like I, the only way that I can really tell you this is if I get a magic ball out. And shake it because I, that's all I can do. I don't. I do not do that at all. Ever me, ever give you a three month price. I mean, where I personally think it will be. I, I like to keep it off of now. So look at these upper and lower Bollinger bands right here that you're watching. A dollar twenty four and a dollar thirteen. You see that they're tightening together, right? They've been tightening a lot together since we looked at this last. What I would like to see is a break of a dollar twenty. Again, I said that dollar twenty was on watch. At dollar twenty again, uh, is going to become a, a another one to watch. You want to watch that dollar twenty. If it breaks through that dollar twenty, um, I think that CTIX will really run, really, really run. It's got the potential to run. It can run. It's not something it's not afraid of doing. It can run. Wait for that dollar twenty break. So, Joe, what would you like to add on CTIX? So the latest press release from them was on January 4th. It was Celsitex to present at Biotech Showcase 2017. Um, Brelacitin for oral mucositis nears interim results. So like I'm totally butchering that word right there and it's crazy. But I like the the results of the what they're basically the, the actual, you know, the numbers behind it all. But they're um they're presenting at that biotech showcase and that is being held today. So from January 9th through the 11th in San Francisco, California, at the Hilton in San Francisco Union Square. So that they're actually it was today at 8:30 a.m. and uh, you figure what they're about four hours behind us. So it's pretty much happening right now. So this is happening right now. So then they also did a uh, the discussion of or they added something regarding their phase two trial for brisotillin oral mucositis or i'll just call it om all right so om right in advance of the interim data collection analysis plan for first quarter 2017 to second quarter 2017 for the ongoing phase two trial of om celsitex would like to provide additional insight into the mid phase study so om represents a potential significant treatment breakthrough as there are currently no preventative drugs approved for oral Mu mucositis, uh, mucositis for solid tumors. Limited existent therapies focus on temporarily amelior. Uh, man, I should have went to uh, med school, I guess, to learn a lot of this stuff. So basically, Celtic's goal is to show that OM has dual functionality and not only shortening the duration and severity of OM, but also preventing the onset of the condition, something no other drug developer has been able to achieve. Should OM emerge as the first preventative FDA approved treatment for OM, we anticipate its wide adoption among healthcare professionals, insurers, and government programs such as Medicare and Medicaid should appreciate the potential for cost savings that the treatment might provide. It's estimated that an estimate 17,000 to 25,000 in added inpatient costs per case associated with managing OM could be substantially reduced if not eliminated altogether. 
And basically, the, it's estimated there's 400,000 patients in the United States that suffer from oral mucositis, a painful and debilitating, uh, debilitating side effect of cancer treatments. So that's basically, I don't know where they are on the phase two. I mean, I remember we went through it before a few weeks back. Yeah. So something you could probably look into. I mean, I, I personally just we gotta wait and see. It's going though. It's going right. places. That's right. All right, CTIX. You know, the way I look at it, it's like you know nobody would necessarily attack a company like they attack this company unless they didn't have that potential behind it. That's right. And, Remember that. You know, you know yeah. we're we're not gonna get into that because I want to cover a lot more stocks, man. But you yeah. know that is you know you see these people attacking companies. On, on forms and stuff, there's reasons behind it. There's always, a, once in a while, you get a disgruntled shareholder that, you know, got screwed over because of his own mistakes or whatever the case might be. But when you see people repetitively doing it over and over and over for months and weeks and years, there's usually a reason for it. And I know that me and Joe can both agree on that. There's reasons for it. You know, it's, it's either the company has potential or they're there for a reason. So, all right, so that is CTIX, and we're going to move on to the next.